All right, welcome back um, to part two of making a, r a ring and dropping everything. I still don't know what I'm gonna call this yet. So that'll be interesting whenever it comes to actually posting this video. So today we are going to continue to work on this to get this slim down. We got the inside diameter good. Now we're just gonna get the outside diameter. And then once we get that to around where I want it, then we're gonna open this up, make a giant mess everywhere. We should, in theory, get this ring done today. Yeah, so I came out today and saw this. This is the water that I used in the last episode. And that's, that's really nasty. So we're gonna clean that out. But we're gonna be bouncing back and forth from this workbench to that workbench. All right, so those confused at why I use a bench grinder when I'm making a ring because I don't have a lathe, so in order to turn the outside diameter of this ring to a somewhat even, I made these to fit on here. And then I have all these different sizes for sizes of rings. All right, so I got a lot of material to remove. I'm not exactly sure the best way to do it at the moment. So we're just gonna kind of experiment a little bit and just see what removes it faster. I file first. You know what? I think I'm gonna wear a respirator. the band or the liner I don't know it's a band um, I just got it um, sanded down to 120 since it's just gonna be covered so it doesn't really matter that much now we're gonna go ahead and get working on this which is gonna make a ginormous mess so that'll be fun I need it. It's uh, definitely a good thing I'm wearing that respirator because it is potent smelling in here of plastic. So yeah, basically I'm going to switch over to that uh, abrasive sanding drum and then we're just going to keep opening it up and taking it slow. Thank you. 
so after a little bit of work we got the <coughs> band fitting in the um, outside it's slightly loose which is fine because uh, I'm gonna end up gluing it anyway and I need a little bit of room for the glue um, sometimes I do press fit sometimes I don't uh, and one of, and this one I figured it, since it's aluminum it'd probably be better to not do a press fit um, so now what I'm going to do is put the band in here which that's starting to look pretty cool put the band in here figure out the width I need and then trim this down or sand this down to the width I need and then start working on the outside diameter. step is going to be gluing the two together. Alright, so we're back and the uh, glue is dry. So now we're going to slap it on this bench grinder and start trimming it down. Mm -hmm. 